Welcome to the final edition of the Davidson Football Coaches Corner, powered all season long by J.J. Wade and Associates. I'm Jack Benjamin, and joined once again by Davidson head coach Scott Abel. And coach, we're now two days removed from a dramatic, thrilling 41-38 yeah. win yeah. over Butler last Saturday to wrap up the first winning season in this program since 2007. It ends on a goal line stand. As you look back on it now, how was this team able to accomplish so much in just your first year at the helm? Well, I, I think it, it really, it, you point right to our kids. You know, I, I don't think you can do any of this if your guys don't buy in, right, and they don't come together as a group. And, you know, that's what we talked about from day one in January when we, we met right here in this very room as a team for the first time about the importance of us growing together and, and being a part of something bigger than ourselves. And uh, as I reflect this weekend, I think the thing that kept uh, popping up in my mind was that, that through some of these tough times we had this year, I mean, everyone's excited in six and five, and um, the celebration happened Saturday. But, you know, we, we went through some growing pains. I mean, <clears throat> losing, it felt like game after game on the last play of the game. You know, that's kind of what it felt like. It wasn't quite like that, but we did, you know, had the lead numerous times in fourth quarter and let it slip away. It would have been easy for maybe this team to really stop believing and, and, and to, to start doubting themselves, but they didn't. They, they stayed together. Um, they, it probably brought us closer, and that showed up Saturday. And that, that really pleases me and uh, really gets me excited for the future. You've talked all season long about developing a new culture, developing a brotherhood with this program, watching the team run out and celebrate after that goal yeah. line stand. What does that say about the future of this program and where they're headed? Well, I, I, it's... It speaks volumes, and it's really if all the things we wanted to accomplish this year, that was the thing that, that we thought was the most important is developing that culture and that brotherhood. And so the opportunity to see that play out Saturday, right, the opportunity to celebrate, and that's not just our players. I mean, our fans, right? Man, what a great crowd. You know, um, our, our Gridiron Club and alumni that were in the end zone that were up close and personal right there at the end, th that's a part of the culture also, and that's part of the brotherhood. And so for it all to culminate right there, the very last play uh, of the season, I, you know, th there's always a bigger plan in play that we don't always understand, uh, that the good Lord understands. And uh, it's almost as if it were meant to be at that moment at that time. And uh, just so grateful to be one part of it. The offense, rightfully so, has gotten most of the accolades this season. Mm -hmm. ESPN has come calling. The USA Today publishes a feature after the record-setting yeah. rushing performance against San Diego. But yet it's the defense stepping up all season long. They've been having troubles. Four plays inside the three-yard line. They make the stop. What were you telling the group to get them set? And how incredible is it that they were able to come up with that stop? Well, one, what, what a fantastic four plays, right? Um, and, and really, you know, Coach Berlin and defense staff just did a, did a fantastic job. And I, I'd said it quite often this year that I saw improvement, right? And, and um, they didn't always show up on the scoreboard or in stats, but we had seen improvement. And so at that moment for our guys to make those plays, uh, four consecutive back-to-back, -back, where someone was really challenging. Hey, we're, we're, we're going to come right at you because we think we're better. And our defense said no. And our defense dug in and, and made the, just the biggest play that this program has seen made in probably quite some time. And uh, really proud of them. I'm proud of Coach Berlin and his staff. And, uh, you know, really all I was in the huddle was, was a voice telling them they're not going to kick a field goal. They're coming after you. They're going to challenge you. And they did that. And, and Coach Berlin and, and the staff, really, they did everything else. You know, all, all I was was a voice of reason and, and, and uh, trying to inspire them as they left the field. Uh, so really proud of them, really proud of our staff. And uh, what an exciting way to end the season. That was certainly incredible to watch. Let's switch now yeah. to the offense and that record-setting rushing attack. When we spoke the first week, I was asking you how it would translate moving this triple spread, the spread triple option to the Division One level and yeah. where you wanted to rank in terms of rushing. And you said you wanted to be one of the best rushing teams in the nation. Well, you weren't one of the best. You were the best. Yeah. Nearly 450 yards rushing, a couple record-setting performances. How impressed were you about how quickly this offense evolved in Division One? No, I'm really surprised. You know, to be honest, I, I'm taken back a little bit by the numbers. Uh, I, I would say it's nothing I expected. I thought we had a shot to be a really good rushing team. And at leaving spring football, I thought we had a shot to, to, uh, to really you know, maybe be better than what people thought in year one with our, with our option attack. But you're never really sure what that's going to look like, especially in year one, right? Uh, there's so many moving parts. As now people have seen us play, a lot of moving parts in what we do, right? That ball's being flipped out there and, and probably some uh, situations that make people uncomfortable. But 
um, a credit, a really a credit to our, our, our offensive assistants and their commitment to get their guys ready each week. And then our players' commitment to, to buy into this, right? This is a unique offense. You don't see it every day. And they never questioned. They, from day one when we installed, I think they saw the benefit and how good we could be at it. And, um, you know, and it starts with our leadership, you know, and uh, our senior leaders on offense, which there's not many of them. Right. But, you know, uh, for for those guys to to really get on board, uh, those few seniors. And then you talk about our returning starting quarterback, you know, Tyler Phelps, for his commitment, because every offense starts with your quarterback, whether you're throwing it around 50 times a game or you're throwing it 10 times a game. Right. And, and you're running this option offense we're running. It has to start with your quarterback. And and he just had a fantastic year, you know, and. You know, his stats aren't these gaudy quarterback stats where he threw for 4,000 yards. And, um, but when you start breaking down his stats, they're very impressive. And uh, I said it, I think, uh, early on in one of our interviews that he gives us the opportunity to be successful. His commitment to be good in this offense. And that came true. And uh, so, proud, so proud of all our guys. Um, you know, but, uh, you know, it, it really did start with him and his ability to run this offense, his ability to get us in the right looks and to make the right decisions. Well, Coach, that will do it for us on this, you know, obviously the, the coach's yeah. corner for the season, but I can, I know I'm speaking for a lot of other people when I say it's been a pleasure watching this team all season long, and I can't wait to see what this team can do in the future. Thanks so much for your time. Well, thanks, Jack, and th thanks to all our fans out there and Wildcat Nation, and uh, look forward to, to seeing everybody out in our spring game, and uh, we'll be announcing those dates soon. That'll do it for the final edition of the 2018 Davidson Football Coaches Corner. We want to thank all of you for watching all season long, for following Davidson Football, and for your continued support, all the alumni, the fans, the students. We really appreciate it, of course. And you saw what this team can do in year one, another year under their belt, a lot to come still in 2019. Make sure you can follow on Twitter, at DavidsonFB, also on Instagram, same handle, and check out all the latest content at DavidsonWildcats.com. For head coach Scott Abel, I'm Jack Benjamin. We'll talk to you guys in 2019.